And welcome back now to KFYR Plus News Desk. And as summer winds down, the country is seeing the largest now COVID surge in the last two years. This is a reminder that COVID-19 now hasn't gone anywhere and continues to impact people of all ages, especially those 65 and older. Joining us with important information about this surge and what we can do to protect ourselves is former U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams. Welcome, Dr. Adams. Thank you so much for your time today. Good to be with you. Well, uh, Doc, can you tell us about this latest surge in COVID-19, please? Well, as you mentioned, the largest summer COVID wave recorded in two years. Hundreds of people are still dying from the virus, and COVID is the leading cause of respiratory illness-related hospitalization, and that's regardless of your age or health condition. Uh, finally, millions of people being impacted by long COVID symptoms, so it's important to know that by getting your updated vaccine, you not only lower your risk of hospitalization and death, but you can also lower your risk of long COVID by 70%. Yeah. Uh, so what is your assessment of the current vaccination landscape? And uh, why is it getting an updated or why getting an updated vaccine is why is it so important? Great question. Most of America was actually initially vaccinated against COVID-19 in 2020 and 21. So we know people aren't uh, opposed to vaccination. However, there's a lot of misinformation out there. We wouldn't say that we were vaccinated in 2024 against flu because we got a shot in 2020. And same thing for COVID. The virus continues to mutate and vaccine protection wanes over time. So these new updated vaccines actually are made to correspond to the currently circulating variants. Uh, we also know that COVID-19 can reduce uh, or the vaccine can reduce COVID-19's impact on your daily life. My kids are all in high school and college uh, and they wanted to get the COVID-19 vaccine so they don't miss school, sports. Mm -hmm. My daughter's got homecoming coming up soon. Lots of good reasons for folks to consider that COVID-19 vaccine update. So why are certain age groups, uh, Doc, more at risk from these viruses than others? Well, we know as you age, uh, it becomes harder for your immune system to fight off viruses. That's whether it's cold, whether it's flu, or whether it's COVID. If you're over 65, you have an exponentially higher chance of dying from COVID, much greater chance of being hospitalized. So if you're a senior, please, Talk to your doctor, make your appointment for your updated COVID-19 vaccine. Here's what I'm actually just as concerned about, though. Mm -hmm. Seven out of 10 U.S. adults have a risk factor for negative outcomes from COVID and don't realize it. So if you have high blood pressure, which 50% of adults do, if you have diabetes or prediabetes, if, like me, you have asthma, you have a much higher risk of complications from COVID-19. And that is the reason I actually make sure I get my updated COVID-19 vaccine. If you're in one of those higher risk groups, older comorbidities, please make sure you're talking to your doctor and strongly considering getting that update. Uh, for those that may have had COVID-19 maybe early this spring or even this summer, do they still need an updated vaccine booster? I get that question all the time and the answer is absolutely yes. Even okay. if you've had COVID-19 in the past year, we know that you still have a lower chance of hospitalization and of long COVID if you get that update. CDC says wait 90 days after your infection to get that update. So if you got it this summer, around Halloween or Thanksgiving is a great time to get it. And guess what? You can get your flu shot at the same time. If you didn't get COVID-19 this summer, if you were one of the lucky ones, I actually recommend you get the update as soon as possible because we're in the midst of a surge right now. So don't try to time it. A vaccine in December isn't going to help you from an exposure in September. Uh, so, Dr. Adams, what can be done now to prepare for future surges or even pandemics? What have uh, we done now to secure ourselves? Well, we are in a much better place than what we were back when I was Surgeon General in 2020. We have um, better tools available, uh, higher quality masks. We have home testing. We've got vaccines and we've got treatments. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The tools don't matter if you never pull them out of the toolbox. So I really want people to get the information they need to make a choice that's great for them. The, the best piece of advice I can give your, your viewers today, don't trust anything that you read on social media. If you have questions, if you have concerns, 
that's okay. I want you to ask questions, but make sure you're getting your questions answered by your pharmacist, your health provider, someone who knows you and cares about you. Dr. Adams, reflecting on your tenure as the U.S. Surgeon General, is there anything that you would like to maybe have a do-over or maybe maybe done a little bit differently? Well, one of the things that I'm really concerned about is how much vaccine confidence is flagging. Um, we're seeing outbreaks of measles, outbreaks of polio. Uh, I really think we need to do a better job of connecting people with folks who they trust, with local mm -hmm. providers. And so uh, that's a challenge that we still continue to face is how do we deal uh, with, with this new social media world, with folks out there losing trust in government institutions? That's why I'm talking with you today. I want folks to understand that uh, health providers, uh, they really just want to help you make good decisions. And I'm also trying to teach health providers to make sure they listen and that they're respectful when they engage with the community. Uh, it's okay to have questions. Uh, we just sure. want you to make a decision that's appropriate for you. And finally, Dr. Adams, uh, where can viewers stay updated on the latest information uh, about vaccines and COVID-19? Thank you for that. If you have questions, you can go to vaccines.gov. If you want to find a Moderna vaccine, you can go to disease.education backslash finder. And uh, you can go to your local pharmacy. You can call your doctor's office, but make sure you're making a decision based on the facts. And when you do, I hope that you'll strongly consider getting the updated facts. Dr. Jerome Adams, former U.S. Surgeon General, thank you for your time and this vital information. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Stay safe. Yes, thank you. All right, it is uh, 1037 now here at the KFYR Plus News Desk. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with more news coming up next on KFYR Plus.